I think the main issue with Van, it's not Van himself, but he doesn't have an actual guide to guide him. A hero always needs a guide. Like Rudy had Gideon, aka Red, as a guide for her hero party. And it has to be somebody who has the ability or the skill or the blessing of a guide. That's what Gideon has. And that's what Gideon tells Van, that he has the guide ability or guide blessing, which would be the guide for the hero. He doesn't have that. Esther doesn't have that. Esther is a former knight, a former friend of Red, Gideon, and also the a former, or uh, I think it's Teresa or uh, Theodora. I think, yeah, Theodora. The Theodora. Her actual name is Theodora. And she's a former knight, former friend of Gideon, and she doesn't have that ability. She doesn't, not, not ability, but blessing. So the same thing, ability, blessing, she doesn't have that. She doesn't have that blessing of a guide. But she tries to. She tries to guide Van. But again, Van doesn't listen to her. Van doesn't listen. Uh, um, also, Lavendera or Laven Lavender. I'm going to call her Lavender because they call her different. They call her Lavendera or something. Something fancy like. A fancy way to say Lavender. But I'm going to call her Lavender. So yeah. She, Lavender doesn't listen to her. The Cardinal doesn't listen to her. Van doesn't listen to her. I'm not sure because they don't respect her or anything. But watching this episode, if she, if Van actually had a guide, an actual guide or an actual person that had the blessing of a guide to guide him as a hero, I don't think he would be this bad of a hero. I don't think he would have uh, this caring that he has for this, um, the way he thinks. I, I don't think he would have this type of thought process. He would be more considerate he would be more caring for the people like rudy is rudy well rudy doesn't have the the same type of emotion she, she wouldn't be she doesn't express her emotions very well and that's because of her blessing because of the hero's blessing so rudy i don't know if she would actually uh how she would or she probably she probably treats the the kids and everybody that uh cheers for her very differently than Van does. So, like, throughout this whole episode, you can see that blatantly that he is missing a guide. Van is missing a guide. And you can see it with how Gideon and him are together while fighting some monsters. And he actually does listen to Gideon, which, uh, of course, upsets um, Esther uh, or Theodora, whoever you, however you want to call her. But yeah, she is upset her because throughout the whole series the whole time Esther's trying to get him to listen trying to get him to um do um or act like a hero or act like what what a hero would be or maybe act like Rudy like a type of hero that Rudy was but she doesn't have that blessing she doesn't have that inner unlike of course Red Gideon who has the blessing of the guide that's why uh even though he told him, like, like um, I'm already done with my blessing. I fulfilled my blessing. I already guided Rudy. But he didn't say Rudy, but I already did what I was supposed to do. I, re I did what I had to do. I'm done. I'm done being the guide. And then, of course, Van at the end said, well, what's your purpose then? Uh, I, I'm surprised you're still here. <laughs> if, you, if you fulfilled your purpose, according to Van, if you fulfill your purpose in what the Almighty said, or the Almighty gives you, or the Almighty blesses you, then you should already, kapush, die. But no, Van's there, uh, not Van, but Gideon is there, living his life, living the life that his God, his blessing is not uh, making him do. <laughs> He's living a life, the slow life. <laughs> the slow life like uh, Rudy does. Uh, Ru 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 what Rudy wants to do. And Rudy wants to be around her brother, of course. Like I said, uh, her she's a brother. She has a brother complex. She always says, uh, whenever there's mention of, <coughs> whenever there's a mention of love between uh, Rit and and Gideon, of course she's like, okay, I'm next after her, okay. <laughs> so yeah, she has a brother complex, but um, yeah, he has a slow life. You can see that he he already said he already said like, hey, I'm done with what I'm doing. I already fulfilled my blessing. I already fulfilled what God wanted me to do. And that surprised uh, Van, seeing like, hey, since you already finished, why are you still alive? 
basically why you're not dead. If you fulfilled God's will, God's blessing, why are you still alive? Also, you have Rudy who's still hiding because they want them to hide. She needs to hide because now Van is looking for her. Van is trying to kill her. Van thinks that if he kills her, that he can actually become a full-fledged hero, a true hero. So that's why she's hiding and also she believes that, or Rudy believes that, that the God, this almighty Lord Demise or Demise or whatever this almighty God is or the almighty is, uh, is putting more, bringing more into her because she's not full, fulfilling her, her blessing or maybe um, she thinks that maybe she is the target of Van and she's supposed to die. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? But yeah, it, it, it's plainly obvious that he needed a guide. If it, if it was for a guide, if he had a guide from the beginning, I don't think he would be acting like this. I don't think he would have this type of thought process. I don't think uh, La Lavender would be acting like this. She'll be more, I'm not sure she would be more proper or maybe more like, she'd be acting way better than the way she's acting right now. Where she's saying all this other stuff, crazy stuff like, She's being rude. She's a rude person aside from Van. She's only rude to anybody else but Van. Van is the only person that she's not rude to. Uh, she's rude to Esta. She's rude to the Carno guy. Or I don't. I'm not, I'm not sure how how she uh, how her attitude is towards the Carno this Carno guy. But yeah, blaming all this that he needed a, a, a Gideon type of guide, or maybe just a guide in general. Somebody who can guide him to the right path, the way uh, the guide should be. That's what he, uh, Gideon had, the guide's blessing. Esther doesn't have it, which um, I, that's probably one reason why Esther's not listening. It could be that Red has a more approach and it's due to his blessing. It, his blessing allows him to um, maybe guide the hero like unlike Esther can. Even though Esther's trying to be uh, I'm, I'm thinking that she's trying to be like Gideon and uh, trying to guide him, even though he doesn't listen to her. Even though he doesn't listen to her. And that's what, that's, that's what's doing all, doing, all these people, all these other characters are following, are not following their blessing. You have Gideon who's not following his, his blessing. You got Rick who's not following his blessing. You got Rudy, who's suppressing her blessing, which is allowing her not to follow her blessing. You have um, Donnan, who is not following his blessing because his blessing is to be part of the hero party and also uh, go and attack demons and stuff like that. So, yeah, Donnan is not doing his blessing either. And then you have, um, I, I already mentioned Theodora, aka Esta, not following. The only ones that are following their blessing are the Cardinal, Van, and then Lavender. Lavender is the only the only one that are following that blessing that God gave them. No, no one, no other one are doing it. <clears throat> so uh, it would uh, it would have been a great thing if Van had, or maybe Esther even maybe accumulated a blessing like that, or maybe God was given the guy blessing. Maybe God would, the Almighty should have given Esther, which was uh, maybe a good thing for God to do is to give somebody the blessing because he gave somebody already a hero's blessing. Why not give somebody a guide, uh, somebody a guide blessing who never had the blessing before? So why not, right? If, if uh, Van, who can now have a hero's blessing, because uh, I think there's only supposed to be one hero, I'm assuming. And once Rudy's uh, suppressed hers, I guess the Almighty decided to give Van, uh, the hero's blessing, or some, it was, it was Van, I, it was Van that they gave it to, but it could have been anybody that the Almighty giving it to. Yeah, um, Esther should have gotten the guide blessing if uh, Gideon doesn't want it anymore, or not want it, but it's not following it anymore, right? Not get. I'm not asking to, like, to take it away from Gideon, saying like, why not give it to? Not, like give a guy blessing to maybe Esther. Maybe he'll maybe Van will listen. Van 
he needs somebody. He needs a guide. If he's going to go out there, kill the demons, just stop the war, for save the world, save everybody from the demon race, from the demon army, from the demon kingdom, he needs a guide. He actually does need a guide. That's what he's missing. He did, he, I don't think he needed a cardinal. He needed somebody who knew, knows magic, but it's probably is the cardinal. That's why he's there. Uh, he's more of the magic guy. Just like uh, L Lavender is more of the magic, magic user as well. So they need like at least one or two magic users. And then, uh, of course, they needed somebody who's strong. Uh, somebody who's like a... Like a Donnan type, like a somebody who's fist to foot, fist to fits, somebody who can fight with their hands. Most knows some little bit of martial arts. They need they need a hero party like the Rudy's hero party. That's what they need. Rudy's heroes party. That's what they need. They don't have that. They have it's all jumbled up together. That's all it is. It's the party itself. It's just all jumbled up together, and that's it. Eventually, I know. They're going to have to meet. Eventually, Rudy and Van have to meet. And I will still pull for Rudy. I'm not saying... I'm not pulling for Rudy because uh, I like Rudy more. But I'm pulling for Rudy because I think she does need a win. I, I'm pulling for Rudy. That's what I'm doing. I think she's... I, I'm not sure who's stronger. I would assume that Rudy, since she's been the hero for a lot longer, she'll be probably stronger. And have more skills than Van does. So I, I would say she's up one on Van. And especially after she knocked him out. After one punch. Almost killing him. Almost getting him to die. Almost a near death experience for Van. So uh, yeah. I think Rudy would win a fight right now. If they would have fought right now. It would have. Um, but the thing is they don't. Van does, uh, not Van, but Gideon, I don't think they need, they want to meet each other. Especially if Rudy kills Van, then Rudy will probably have to take the mantle of the hero again, and which, that's just, she doesn't want that. I think Van wants it. Well, Van wants that title, that, that hero, being the hero. He cherishes that. She cherishes the blessing way more than Rudy does, so that's a reason, one reason why I think uh, Gideon doesn't want them to meet because they, they know that it'll be a, a fought, hard fought battle. One of them's gonna die. Um, I would say uh, Van will die because Rudy has more experience, more skill. She has more skills. She's more stronger. She's the, she's been the hero longer than he has. I sh that's why I believe Rudy would win. Not just by because I want her to win, but I I know that she will win against Van. If it was a fight between Gideon and Van, that would be more of a challenge. Uh, that would be more of a, like, toe-to-toe -to -toe going head-to-head. -head. I'm not sure who will win in that. I'm not sure. Because you're talking about a hero and a non-hero. Just a guide. Who was kicked out of his own party. Or his own sister's party. That's why it's called Vanished from the Hero's Party. All of them are now banished from the same heroes party. All of them are. After what happened on after season one, all of them are banished from the heroes party. All of them. So there are no more heroes party, except for Van's heroes party, which is just Lavender, Esta, and then the Cardinal. <laughs> the little 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 group that was meshed together. It's a little group. And it, it, it needs to be a party like what Rudy has, which maybe have a more backing, maybe better fighters or something like that. It, it needs to be the group, it, and I and getting with the glue to that group. The only problem was I think Arius or Arius or whatever that <laughs> uh, sage that wizard was, name was, that caused all the problems, and they got Rudy to quit being a hero. They need, I, and I think it's always the guy that kept them together. It was always the guide. It was always Gideon that kept them together. It was Gideon that brought in Rit. It was Gideon that brought in um, that uh, elf chick. 
I forgot her name because uh, she's not on. She, they don't say her name a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um, they need a glue. They need a glue to keep them together. And they need a guide. Uh, that's what his main problem is. Eventually, maybe, hopefully, maybe, who knows? Who knows? Maybe then we'll maybe get Gideon to join. Who knows? Who knows how that will be? I don't, I don't think uh, Gideon wants it. If he is asked, I don't think he wants it. Which it would be a blasphemy, according to Van, if he doesn't take the job. <laughs> if he doesn't take the job, I don't know what he would say. He probably would offer him a job. Like, hey, you want to be my guide? Like, even though he already told you, like, my job, my me being the God, I mean, uh, the guide, me following in that blessing, I have already fulfilled that blessing. So who knows? Who knows what uh, uh, if Van would ask? He, I know that Gideon would just turn turn it down anyways. Most likely, he would turn it down. Like, nope, he he doesn't want it no more. He already has a life. He's starting to. He wants to start a family. He wants to start a family with his sister there and his her sister's friend and her and then Rit. And then now you have, I think, oh, there you go, Laveria, Laveria. I think that's her name, the elf girl. The, the elf girl that tried to convince him to leave uh, Zoltan. Yeah. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. And I'll see you on the next video. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.